How's it going? Welcome back to the Daily Grind. We got a little treat today. Today we're going to be working on uh, some Stanton carpet. It is a Wilton face-to-face -face weave. So uh, we got that. We got one room of that. Ain't got no seams involved in it, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But we got one room of that and then just uh, another room. I think it's one more room of a traditional plush carpet. So going to be a little treat to get to work with some nice goods. Alrighty, we got the furniture out and old tack strap up, old pad out, we got our tri tack tack strap down, get ready to eat some lunch and then put some pad. And this other room here is all ready as well. Putting uh, eight pound pad in here and some felt pad in the other room. But I'll tell you what, this tack strip right here was already down and I absolutely like the extra wide strip. That's a true one inch tack strip. So you don't see that too often. I just had to replace a little bit. That was too far under the walls with, but for the most part, you can see the difference. There ain't much difference maybe a quarter inch maybe a little less and the tri-tack and the tack strip that they had down so big tack strip i wish i could find some of that around here Alrighty, let's go get some carpet let's go get some carpet let's go get some carpet okay let's go get some carpet let's go get some carpet let's go get some carpet okay so this is it it is a wilton face-to-face -face. beautiful carpet feels super good Hey, it's beautiful, it's just because it's so nice. See how fine they are there. And chain stitch. Obviously I just rough cut that to get it cut down. Let's get to it, shall we? We shall gather at the river. Nice and straight. Follow that dot all the way down the wall. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. You can look down there in the corner. It goes in just a little bit right in the corner. Shame on me. Help. Okay, so we did a room similar to this here a while back. What I'm gonna do is uh, make my cut over here far enough where my seam is on this side of the closet door, make my seam and then seam on the closet. Tie that corner off, stretch this way, tie that whole wall off, come to me here. Right, go do it a bit. So, uh, let's see here. Let's just see how much latex actually gets on the back of the carpet. Here, that's actually a little bit more than I like. I like to have it like this. You can just barely see it on there, but yeah. 
Yeah, it's caked in the side of it. That's exactly what you want. So, oh, nicely. It's too tight because I broke up my seams. I simply push it apart a little bit. See, this is actually a little bit tight right there too. But since I already got the bulk of it pushed over there, I can just use my hand. Well, I have to have two hands here, but you know, have to push this. There we go. Here we go. Ready? Cha cha cha. There we go. Just like butter. Ta ta ta. Get that perfect. Put my iron on it. Put my iron on it. Mark my carpet with my row finder. That's right. Row finder. See that? It's tight. Because it's popping up a little bit. So that means my backings are together good. to the cool glide I get my seam all ready to go and tuck trim or door jams door jams and then just place this little guy right there and warm it up